So what I'm gonna do is uh, we're gonna buy a mag drill if we don't get another table. And I'm gonna drill this table so that it has the, you know, like every four inch or whatever it is, it'll have the increments, it'll have the holes on the table so I can use those to do, uh, to drop the Bessie clamps and stuff like that in there. And, um, you know, have somewhere where I can clamp everything down to the table. After so many years of welding stuff to the table and then grinding it off, it just ends up, you know, screwing a table up. So I'd like to keep one table, you know, designated just for doing welding and fabrication like this table and then over here in front of rogue i'd like to put where my uh, little bench is right here i'd like to put a big ass like four by ten or five by twelve layout table or i might even do it over here in this corner and put some lights above it so that i have a spot where i could actually put car bodies and stuff on and car frames and do uh you know layout and stuff on those and and i know everything is straight and true and whatever but anyways, uh, before I get all crazy on the subject and get off the off the subject, um, so what I want to do is I want to take, uh, because like I was saying, I can't stand stuff on this welding table. I'm going to take the planishing hammer, English wheel, and they're not going to be high enough right now. Um, it's going to drop them four inches because this is at 38 inch and this is like 30, I believe it's 35 inch. I don't, I don't remember. But anyways, it's, uh, it's a little bit lower. And what I want to do is I want to mount the English wheel here, planishing hammer here, and then I'm going to make a uh, setup so I can put some body hammers and stuff right here. And I might do some, uh, put some plate in the center so I can, you know, put some WD-40 and stuff. Because when I'm using the English wheel, I'll spray the anvils, I'll spray the wheels with uh, WD-40 so that you can roll it real easy. And I have these, uh, this one's unbolted, the English wheel is, the planishing hammer, I got to unbolt that. And then I'll get these uh, put on this table. And then as I'm doing this stuff, I'll, I'll kind of, I'll just run the camera and I guess let you guys watch. So this table I had in here a while back, I had my English wheel and my plastic hammer mounted on it. I didn't like the setup that it was at, but right now, like I said, it's just frustrating having everything on the welding table. I'm gonna get this stuff taken off because I gotta do the doors and the hood and all that stuff for Rogue. And I wanna make sure that I'm set up for it. And this stuff being in the way, I want to be able to still use it. And it's a pain in the ass when you take it off the table and you sit it on the ground. You got to bolt it back on the table, use it, and then unbolt it, take it back off the table. So this table, I had this stuff mounted on a while back, and I'm gonna go ahead and get it mounted back on there again. And uh, and then, like I said, I'm gonna do some little compartments or a couple spots on there where I can hold some tools and some dollies and whatever. If I have room, I'll put put some other stuff on there, but we'll see what happens. Thing is heavy. See, the problem is right here is on an English wheel, instead of having it down low like this, you want it right here in your face. That's why I had it up so high. It's right here is like perfect where it was. That way you can watch the, the metal shape. This is a little low, but if I have to, I'll put some extenders or some little bit longer legs or wheels or something on this table and lift it up a little bit. So this is kind of a temporary deal right here.
Well, I'll go ahead and get the uh, planishing hammer hooked up on here. And if I do any welding or whatever, I'll, I'll turn the camera back on. So I reversed the English wheel and the pla planishing hammer. So one aims this way, one is that way. And uh, they're nice and stout on here. These plates were on there before. And then now I have a spot where I can hang like WD-40 when I uh, spray the wheels on the English wheel or the dies on the planishing hammer. I can hang that here. And then this sits up here nice. And the uh, air hose that's always in the way when I'm not using it dropped it down one of the legs there so now I'm gonna go ahead and make a spot where I can hang a couple tools that I need when I'm using this thing um, you know some hammer uh, racks or whatever you want to call them holders and then I have another piece that goes with this I'd like to put the pieces on here that way everything's together instead of being in the bottom of a toolbox drawer All right, so I, I ran out to the other shop real quick and I had some, uh, this is galvanized, it looks like. Um, you gotta be careful. Don't be breathing when you weld galvanized and when you cut galvanized, it puts out a green, nauseous, poisonous gas. Be careful not to breathe that. Make sure you got good circulation, ventilation, all that good stuff. Um, the saw that I'm using is an Evolution saw. It's a cold cut saw. You can cut it and put your hand right on it when you're done. And it's, I, you know, it's it's not uh, ice cold, but it's it's uh, warm. It's not hot to the touch. You're not gonna burn yourself. And then the ends that it cuts off is, they're just nice and smooth and flush and clean. And it's almost like they've been, uh, you know, cleaned up with a, with a, what do you call it, a reamer. You know, they're just super smooth. And and uh, Evolution is one of our sponsors. And, and I love this saw. I mean, we've been using the heck out of it. Um, the other thing is, uh, Get yourself some uh, one, two, three blocks, and all they are, they're machinist blocks that bolt together. You can see the threads inside the holes, a couple of the holes there, and you could you could bolt them together like this or like this or whatever. Um, you know, if, if you need to like maybe run out a piece of the pipe out and have something for it to lay on on the other side on the table or whatever. But what I'm using it for is just a quick reference instead of taking a tape measure and. Uh, you know, every single time making a cut, what I'm doing is I'm running the blade down, not while it's running, of course, and I'm marking it with the, with the uh, one, two, three blocks, either this way or this way, so I have that stop right here, and that's probably what I'll do is I'll use this. So I can bump it up to here, and I'll run the pipe out to here to the end of the one, two, three block, and then I'll make my cut right there. So I'll show you what I'm talking about. But I gotta make one cut first, just so I can get this. This one's all bent up on the end. I'm gonna get all that crap off there real quick. Um, make sure you wear earplugs too, because this thing is super loud. Um, any of these any of these saws like this, this power equipment, you wanna wear safety glasses and earplugs. And I gotta grab my glasses. Thanks, Ron, for the glasses, brother. Love these things, man. They're awesome. And uh, what else? Um, I squared the... Uh, uh, the face up on the saw so that the pipe is running through here nice and square so my cut's nice and square. And it makes it real fast when you take the one, two, three block, stick it up here, bump this, you got your two inches. On a one, two, three block, it's just, um, it's one inch this way, two inches this way, and it's three inches this way. That's why they call them that. But these are just machinist blocks, but they come in use for so many other I'll do another video on these one of these days and show you some cool uses for them. But um, all I did is uh, I cut this crappy stuff off, got it out of the way, brought the pipe through here, take the one, two, three block, then I know my next cut is gonna be uh, 
right there, and that, that's gonna give me my one inch that I want. Yep. So if I go in two inches off of this, and there's a one inch offset, it's gonna give me a one inch cut, and that's all I want, because all I'm gonna do is hang hammers to this, this uh, pipe. So that should work out good. Go ahead and get the rest of these cut. Well, I'm gonna hurry up. I don't want this to be a long ass video, but uh, I'll show you, like, I guess you could call it like a tech tip or something. I almost went like that and swept all these uh, metal deals and they always get in your hands if you don't have gloves on. Just take your square, lay it flat on the table. And you know, I, it's just a simple trick, but a lot of guys don't realize that. that side or that side whatever but anyways uh i got these all cleaned up i took a die grinder and cleaned up the outside of it not gonna worry about the inside and uh you know that saw cuts so nice that you can almost just weld them together and go but this is what i'm going for right here <clears throat> just line these up and weld them together and then i'll get them on that that side right there and get them welded up that way i got somewhere to put my hammers Some of that crap, I don't know what's going on with my camera, but I hit record and it didn't record it, so whatever. Now it's starting. careful not to be breathing that. I should turn a fan on or something. All right, so I blew some of this air out of here and then uh, that way I don't have, I'm not smelling that stuff. <clears throat> and then uh, I got this welded on there real quick and this will be nice because uh, now I have somewhere to hang the extra body on this. sweet you know and you know a lot of times like when i'm using my english wheel or i have my beater bag next to me or something i have to walk across the shop to grab a hammer and it's nice when you just reach over and grab a hammer that you need and it's right here that'll work out pretty cool and like i said i'm gonna do some extensions or something on here or maybe i'll add something here to to raise those up a little bit because they need to be about four or five inches higher I was noticing too that my uh, hose, I've had this thing for so many years, my hose is starting to go bad. So I need a hose put on that before it blows up in my face. But uh, I'm sure there was gonna be some other stuff that I'll do this, but for now I'm gonna call that a night. It's starting to get dark outside. <clears throat> Lots of snow, had to plow all day, wiped out, shoveled and oh, long day. But anyways, it's like five o'clock or something like that. So I'm gonna go ahead and split out of here. You guys have a good night. Thanks for watching and please don't forget to subscribe. Later.